fourth floor. One evening, I was looking for an internet cafe because I needed to send a few emails. I spotted one in an old building. The sign said it was on the sixth floor. When I walked through the entrance, there was a dark hallway that led to a small elevator. I pressed the call button and when the doors opened, I stepped inside. In a lot of Asian countries, many buildings do not have a fourth floor. The number four is considered bad luck because the word for four sounds almost the same as the word for death. The buttons in the elevator were one, two, three, five, six. I pressed the button for the sixth floor. The doors closed and the elevator quietly began to ascend. When it stopped and the doors opened, I was about to step out when I realized that something was wrong. The hallway was in total darkness. By the light emanating from the elevator, I could make out random pieces of furniture covered with white cloth. It looked like it hadn't been occupied for decades. I thought I must have gotten the wrong floor, so I checked the buttons, but none of them were lit up. There was nothing to indicate which floor I was on. Just then, I noticed something moving at the end of the darkened hallway. I couldn't quite make out what it was, but it looked like a person dressed in some type of gown. The figure was moving slowly down the hallway towards the elevator. It creeped me out and in a panic, I started pressing the closed door button. All of a sudden, the light in the elevator flickered and turned off. I was plunged into pitch darkness. I was so freaked out, I almost wet myself. Just as I was about to lose it completely, the lights flickered and came back on. The doors closed. The elevator jolted back to life, it began to ascend again. I breathed a sigh of relief. When the doors opened this time, I was at the internet cafe. I went over to the counter and told the girl who worked there what had happened. As she listened, her face grew pale. She said that some of the customers and a few of her co-workers had experienced something similar. She had never experienced anything herself, but she told me about the history of the building. Apparently, the fourth floor had a hair salon at one time. It was a prospering business until one of the women who worked there killed herself in the salon. Nobody knew the reason why, but she slit her wrists over a basin and bled to death. The salon continued to operate, but they were plagued by weird and inexplicable events. Sometimes, when customers were having their hair washed, the water would run as red as blood. Other people claimed that when they looked in the mirror, they would catch glimpses of a ghostly figure standing behind them. When they turned around, there would be no one there. Because of these events, the salon developed a bad reputation and began to lose customers. Eventually, they were forced to close. The building's owner tried to rent the fourth floor out to other businesses, but when they found out that someone had died there, nobody would take it. Finally, the owner reduced the price to nearly nothing and it was rented by a businessman who planned to open a stationary supply store. However, when they tried to do some renovations on the floor, there was a series of mysterious accidents. The workman's tools would sometimes disappear, only to be found in strange places. A large mirror suddenly shattered when no one was near it, and a workman had his hand crushed when the elevator doors closed on him unexpectedly. Eventually, the workman was spooked and refused to continue and refused to continue and the businessmen pulled out and left. The building's owner gave up trying to rent the fourth floor and just shut it down. He had the buttons in the elevator replaced and it was reprogrammed so that nobody could go to the fourth floor. At least, that's what was supposed to happen. For some reason, when people would take the elevator, it would sometimes stop on the fourth floor and when the doors opened, some people would see a figure coming towards them in the darkness.